Hello everyone. So as promised, here I am in Minax, in the island of Jerba. It's a beautiful site in southern Tunisia. And even though very little ruins remain, we can still have see evidence of the greatness of the city. It's one of the biggest sites in Tunisia, and m much of it is still has not been excavated yet. And I'm truly blessed to be here today because I have been waiting for this moment for so long. And here are the Murex maceration tanks that I was talking about in my group. They are huge. And it was believed that the fresh snails were kept to wait here before being processed. And as you can see, it's very close to the sea. The tanks also had to be filled with seawater to keep the, uh, the Murex fresh, uh, so that the quality of the dye wouldn't be affected. So, once these tanks were filled, the Murex started to be being processed. They would take the snails, one by one, crush them, extract the gland, and when, when they had enough uh, dye stuff, they mixed it with salt, and let it release all its juices before transferring the uh, dye stuff to the dyeing factory in these huge tin vessels or lead vessels where they had to simmer at very low uh, temperatures for about 10 days until the dye was ready So, I cannot tell you how many shell fragments are here. This, the entire site is literally uh, uh, littered with millions and millions of um, Murex fragments. And here are my little babies, back where they belong. In the background, you can see the Murex dump, our Tunisian version of the Sidon Murex hill. And this is where the, um, the crushed snails were dumped at the outskirts of the city because the stench was horrible and they couldn't keep it, you know, like close to the habitations and the buildings. So all of these discarded shells had to be um, dumped at the outskirts of the city. We will be there in a minute. Bye.